So for me, for us to develop and be better on third downs and move the chains, we had to get better at drop back passing. This year, up until really the last two games, we were top three in the nation in third down percentage. We were over 50%. We finished the year, I think we're number eight or number nine in the nation, number one in the conference, right? So the drop back pass game is really where a lot of us as high school coaches, I'm talking to myself too included, that you have to develop your game. You know, as a former receiver, I think it was, you know the routes, right? Protections, I know the protections, that's easy. Uh, but from the standpoint of making sure you really can train the quarterback size and get them in the right spot to make these plays happen and come alive, not only at the protection point, but also at the pass point. So for us, our drop back system is very simple. We have a lot of different drop back passes, but we really use 10 that the quarterback knows where his guys are gonna be at all times, okay? It doesn't matter where they line up. We play it like golf. Doesn't matter where the ball lies. He knows exactly where those guys will be and he'll hit them on the spots. Okay, so right here, just Indy 7, as you guys and everybody in football runs this play, right? Okay, but we got action, right? We know they weren't a heavy pressure team, so let's smoke the back out of there and get them out just to, you know, grab some eyes, get some people open. Boom, quarterback knows, right? We give our receiver, right? Receivers have two ways, so they're never caught in the route. So a lot of these guys have option routes the majority of the time when they're running down the field. Okay, quarterback sees, I'm good, I don't need you back. Let me get rid of you, boom. Line does a good job sorting it out. Jet protection. Boom. 